Hey, here's the very short review, and I'm promising you it's going to be short, of Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. This game is pretty good. It had great graphics, to be honest. Uh, great selection of fighters. There was, uh, I think, 10 on each side, so it's 20, but still, great selection. It didn't have Johnny Cage, but still, I don't really like Johnny Cage anyway. But it had the Joker, so that's a that's a plus right there. I didn't think they would actually put Joker there. I thought they would just get some heroes and like maybe uh maybe Lex Luthor would be one of course, but Joker didn't think so because he's not that much of a fighter. But in this game, he's a pretty good fighter. Uh, there's also like obvious one for Mortal Kombat: Sonya Blade, Scorpion, Sub Zero. There's no reptile because he's not that big of a character. So yeah, there's a great selection of fighters. The graphics is uh, very nice and not as good as Soul Calibur 4, but they're still very good. The character models themselves is actually really good. They're really actually pretty good. But the gameplay itself, I mean, I've played fighters, but this is really simplistic. It doesn't have as many fighting moves, but I still had, I, I still found myself enjoying it. Of course, uh, sometimes there's different difficulties. I, I like it like a, maybe like a not very known character. For me, Deathstroke, I didn't really hear of him, he's in the DC. I fought him and he was very easy, but when you fight someone like Raiden or Superman, of course they're hard. And when you fight the last guy in the freaking uh, story mode, he's hard. Uh, the story is actually pretty decent. I mean, it's not supposed to be great or anything, but it actually kind of coincides really good. Like, uh, if you play Mortal Kombat, then you'll fight all DC characters and maybe a couple of Mortal Kombat characters. Uh, if you're DC, then you'll play against blah blah blah. And there's like the story mode is basically that if you're DC, you, you're pretty much in the beginning taking control of a uh, uh, what's his name, Dark Side. Uh, and if you're in Mortal Kombat, you're you're taking control over a uh, well, I'm not saying taking control. I mean like beating him. So Superman defeats Dark Side in the beginning, and uh, Luke Kang and Raiden fight off uh, Shao Kahn at the uh, in the beginning, so uh, and they they both get killed at the exact same. Well, they get they both get transported or whatever at the same time, so they fuse together. And he also has this little power. His name is Dark Khan now. You know, Shao Khan and Dark Side combined. Dark Khan. It's cool. Uh, the character itself isn't very. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of bland. It's obvious. Uh, but the what was I gonna say? Hmm. Yeah, the character's good. Uh, the, he has a little power that actually makes people angry at each other. That's why pretty much DC and Mortal Kombat fight each other because they they have like rage for some reason. Like uh, Lex Luthor's mad at uh, Jax because they don't he doesn't want to team up. Like Lex Luthor's like we should team up, and Jax says hell no, nah. and he's like oh, I want your arms because I have a full metal suit and you got cool arms. I want them. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of stupid, but I mean I like it. It's 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 cool. It's a cool little unique thing there. The graphics are good. It's not like any other Mortal Kombat game where you walk around or something. I mean I like those like Deception. You walked around and that was kind of cool. In Armageddon you actually had to beat up things, which is not cool because I didn't like that in Sub Zero the game and fucking Special For Forces the game. I kind of liked it in Shaolin Monks the game, but whatever. Anyway, well, that's good that it wasn't in this. Anyway, if I had to give it a score, I'd give it a very high middle class. Uh, the voice acting was also pretty good. I don't know if it actually voiced the characters, like, you know, like Mark Hamill as Joker. I don't know. I'm not completely sure. Or, like, uh, Kevin Conroy as uh, Batman Conrad or something like that. Conroy, I think I said it right. But I'm not really sure. But the voice acting was good anyway. High middle class. I, did, I thought it was a really good game. I actually played this before Wolverine and Terminator, so I kind of delayed this review for a little bit, and I kind of delayed it seeing it that it came out in November of 2008, but good to give a review anyway, right? Anyway, it's a good game. If you can find it for like 30 bucks, 30, 40, I'd say get it. High middle class, which is like an 8.25, maybe 8.3, which is good, okay? It's a good fighting game. Really fun. Uh, no creative character or anything, no con, I mean, no crept, which I found to be a little weird because I love crept but anyway it's a great fighter go check it out it's a great rental I would say great rental